<laughs> Let's talk about Full Circle with Joyce. Yeah. Because I know a lot of people who watch it. But for those who don't watch it, yeah. what can they expect if they went to YouTube or catch one of your shows in the morning on sure. Switch TV? Yeah. So Full Circle with Joyce is a lifestyle show um, hosted by myself. It's every day, Monday to Friday from 8 to 10 a.m. on Switch TV. And... Um, it's really an opportunity to talk about relationships, we talk about faith, we talk about personal development, health and wellness. It's the full circle. Uh, but I think what's really special about this show is um, a lot of what we discuss, we do it from a faith-based perspective, um, which obviously to me, my faith is everything. It's what defines me. So it's been a wonderful opportunity and I just get very encouraged and humbled by people who say you know they've tuned into the show and that they're learning from it they're growing from it um, that's a major major blessing for me so um, yeah they should cut tune in and find literally you'll find just about everything it is a full circle um, and it's just been an awesome experience so far I've done it for almost it will be two years in December yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you've <clears throat> learned a lot of interesting things uh -huh. pertaining to our society, yeah. you know, as Kenyans. What, what are some of the interesting things that you think <laughs> Kenyans are struggling with? Oh my Lord, Kenyans are struggling with their relationships. <laughs> <laughs> That's Why am I laughing? It's not right. I'm not, I shouldn't be laughing. Okay. You shouldn't be laughing, uh -huh. by the way. People oh are going goodness. through things. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's one of the biggest topics on the show, relationships. Um, people have an opportunity to send in their questions. I often have like specialists and experts in the field addressing different things. But relationships is a huge, is a huge, huge topic. Um, you know, finding a good spouse, keeping your relationship, you know, healthy and having a good... Um, marriage and that sort of thing so there's a lot of questions that concern people that we try and address on the show um, so I think that's that's probably one of the biggest highlights just uh, the sort of relationship questions I've gotten half the times I'm I'm not laughing at people by the way I'm just I'm laughing at the craziness of a some of the things we put ourselves through but also some of the things we allow and um, yeah from a relationship perspective. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, it's not a bad question. Okay. You're both very busy. You, Wahiga. How have you been able to make it work? Um, again, priorities. So we prioritize each other. We prioritize uh, time with each other. Um, and uh, so, you know, there are certain days we guard that are just our own. But I think also it's important to support one another's dreams and visions. So, you know, I cheer him on and he cheers me on as well. You know, he'll be a part of what I'm doing. And as far as I can, I can also be a part of what he's doing. So that um, at the end of the day, we are a team and we are working towards the same goals. And so it's exciting. It's exciting when I see him do well and really shine in his uh, spheres of influence. And the same is true the other way around. So course prioritize your relationship he's my best friend so he's the person that I run to to tell all my joys and sad moments um, so make each other a part of you know each other's lives um, and just support one another as you build towards your future together Joyce now your Uhai brand ambassador yeah host of full circle with Joyce still working on your gospel albums what else are you working on and what can we expect from you? Yeah, so definitely, like I mentioned, Rejoice, we had our first edition last year. And I'm, I, it's unfortunate we weren't able to do our second edition this year. But um, I'm trusting God that we can be able to do that next year. Um, by the way, I've also been a part of Afleo, a ministry called Afleo. Um, for, this is my third year now, so excited about that too. Um, but also this uh, program that I'm setting up for young women, it's sort of like a mentorship platform. And I'm super excited to dive into that and uh, hopefully be launching it in a few weeks as well. Yeah. And of course, new music, definitely loads of new music. I've been in studio writing some new songs and um, I'm excited for those to come out. The first one will be in a month, actually. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah.
you were talking about young women, right? Mm -hmm. Now, from a mentorship perspective, what advice would you like to give, not only even, not only women, but young people in general? Yeah. Because definitely, I mean, you're a role model, and I'm sure you've been, uh, you're at the point now where you are a mentor to some of these people, you're in the limelight. What advice would you like to share? I mean, one of the things I'd tell every young person, this is something I learned when I was younger, and I really think it's kept me from a lot of trouble, a lot of heartache, is to, whether you like it or not, just appreciate the fact that life is about choices, and choices, you know, result in the actions that we take, and every action in life has a consequence, and those consequences are going to determine the circumstances of our lives. And so I'm someone who does not want to live in regret. So I am very careful about decisions I make. And I think especially when people are in their 20s, yeah, live and have a great time and have a good life and all of those things you want to pursue. But just remember that for every action, there's an opposite reaction. It's just the law of nature and science. And um, to keep yourself from having to spend a lot of time in regret, just be wise about who you hang out with, you know, who speaks into your life, what your goals and your visions are, um, and to really, you know, value hard work and to value process and the, the system of things and, and you know, journeying. I think, um, as has been said many times, we want things very quickly but i've learned some of my greatest lessons in those long periods of waiting i've been able to build resilience for life in those long periods of waiting and when i've really had to dig it down and burn the midnight oil and that sort of thing nothing worth having in life comes easy that's what i say so that i'd say to every young person to women specifically i would say value yourself you know please value yourself um you are fearfully and wonderfully made and if you don't find your identity in the one who created you you're always going to be seeking to find it in anything and everyone else and that's just not the way to live so i really hope that my life can be an example to the many who do you know follow me on social media and look up to me that um let God be the center of everything. Let him be the one to define you and um, to guide your, your, your steps. Yeah. Any final words, Joyce? Yeah, I'd just like to first of all say thank you to you, George, once again for oh. having me in your cab and just this conversation with you. It's good, you know, to also just remind myself about why I do what I do and yep. I'm grateful for that. But also I want to invite people to follow me on social media at Joyce Somondi on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Look out for, um, of course, new music coming soon. I'm so excited about these projects, George. You're going to have to blast them in your car. Uh, definitely. To your next, <laughs> to your next visitors. Yes. And of course, um, you know, they can catch up with me as well on Full Circle. But yeah. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Joyce. We appreciate you as well. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard from none other than Joyce Omondi. Since it's Kokazi Leo, Uhai product delivery, special delivery. So let's get back to work. Thank you very much, folks, and we'll catch you next time.